this will probably for the uh, downloaders to upload onto BitChute or whatever you want to put it. So it'd be a miracle if this one was fucking kept on YouTube. But uh, uh, yeah, let's let's get going. Uh, just thinking about this morning, this weekend I was on the the, the virtual pub on BR three one three last night, but we had a vicious storm, and I kept getting knocked offline, rural broadband, etc., etc. And uh, I wanted to stay because there was a very good point that Christian Morris brought up at the beginning about how all the Irish newspapers and news media had a coordinated attack upon the craft folks, uh, us, and most of us watching this. And again, like you have the needlecraft, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to dehumanize you as a person. I'm not your enemy or anything like that. I'm just talking about us. So we're the we're ones in this predicament. And these, uh, these, uh, these coordinated attacks across the Irish media were, co you know, obviously done by the same agencies that the Irish government hires to go into the comment sections of videos and attack people who question government policy. Yes, the Irish government, my friends, and your government too, spends millions and millions a year on hiring people who go online and, and promote government policy and attack people who question it. This is the kind of democracy that you guys look that are defending. This is why I think democracy is an absolute joke and it's trash and it needs to be replaced with something else. With what? I don't know. But anyone who could still defend democracy at this point needs help. Now, <clears throat> into the topic at hand, okay. A person's... A, 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 the true feelings of a person are always demonstrated by how they behave rather than how, what they say. Now, the classic example of this is, suppose you're a guy and you start a relationship with some bitch who's just uh, ended a, you know, who's, who's, and you're with, and you think you're in a relationship with this bitch, right? And this, this, this bitch is uh, constantly ragging on about the previous guy. Hatefully, hateful, right? Now, even the most pussy-whipped loser can figure out that all her emotions are really with him the previous guy and not with this guy she's in the relationship with now because if she was genuinely had to say any kind like the emotional depth that she has is for the guy she hates because love and hate is the same thing than the new guy in the relationship that she's with that she loves now this guy that she's in the relationship is loves she, she may say i love you but our, our emotional intensity of this bitch is towards the previous guy okay or a, another guy okay that that wouldn't put up with her shit anymore or whatever and or, and she's filled with hatred for him that's because that's the real object of her desire and the new loser the the, the, the replacement the cook that's in, in that that thinks he has his woman now that's if he if, if he has even a fucking fragment of self-respect and self-awareness he knows that his new bitch is really is really emotionally connected to the fucking guy she claims to hate rather than him but we live in a world where it, you know, the, the pussy whipped won't actually accept that. And he, he'll not be man enough to actually admit it because it's too painful. If he is, he does the right thing. He fucks her for a few months and then disposes of her. Because if that's how she starts a new relationship, obsessed with some other guy who did nothing other than probably get rid of her, uh, that shows where her true, her true emotions are lay not with this new fucking loser and and, and that's you know so that's that's even the biggest thick fuck i've ever known has always actually the biggest fucking cook fucking pussy whipped loser i've ever known has always figured that one out always figured that one out right now but some but they could they, they, they tolerate and put up with it the real the real opposite of love is what it's apathy okay apathy when you don't if you're in a new relationship with someone you don't care about anyone else other than the person that you're with. You could be surrounded by all kinds of fucking monsters. The only person you care about is the one that you're with at the beginning and you love. They're the center of your universe. And you're certainly not going to care about some asshole that, that's all right through you and wants nothing to do with you anymore. Uh, because that's, 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 you don't, you don't care. You don't care. You're in love. You found love. You found something, a special kismet with somebody. And you, the other, the, what, how others behave and do is irrelevant to you. And that's a great lesson, not just only in romance, but in all of life. You know, if you're, go, if you're a woman and some cook is going on about his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend, get rid of him. That's where his, relation, that's where his, his, his emotions lie. 
if your if your new bitch, your new girlfriend, is 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 uh, going on about some guy that fucking had nothing, does not want anything to do with her anymore, or dumped her, or whatever, uh, snubbed her. That's where her real emotions are lie. That's 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 fucking basic human psychology one on one, but that serves you great in all aspects of life. Okay, now this coordinated attack that Christian had mentioned against the unneedlecraft this weekend is was reflected in the media all over the world. Governments decided to blame the unneedlecraft, the ones who refused the trans transubstantiation of the needlecraft, and to remain sanguine gnosis. And decided to attack them in mass worldwide. So they got together, governments, mass media, same thing, to to put out a coordinated attack, including getting their spooks, their hired spooks and civil servants, uh, on with them to do this. Okay, and it didn't fly. It didn't fly. Now this is actually giving me a lot of hope. Let me explain to you how how the the holocaust happened okay one day how did it normally say this is a normal a regular strasse in germany right and there's all just all german families along it and then someone says did you hear what happened to the goldbergs at number 26 what the gestapo came along and took them away this morning and then the, the father puts his oh jesus no oh that's really sad i'm sorry to hear that they were a nice family uh, well, yeah, she go. Yeah, remember Mrs. Goldberg used to take care of the kids when I was in when I was in hospital having my operation. He goes, "Fuck," and that's what have been the reaction to most of the Germans on the street. The NPCs, the normies, I'm talking about. The NPCs would have went, but it's the 1934 racial Nuremberg racial laws. It's what the law says you have to do. Now. Most of the Germans on the street, the normies, would have said nothing about it to one another. But the normies deep down the side would have said, fucking hell, I, I know I know it's the law and everything, but Jesus Christ, that family never bothered anybody. And that was reflected all over Germany. All, and the same thing would have happened with the Bolsheviks in Russia, when they took people away to send them to the gulags. There would have been the same reaction. You know, the NPCs would have went, it's the law. What can you do? Stay home, wear a mask, save lives, gender pronoun, preferred, rainbow flag, them types, right? They would have went, it's the 1934 racial, Nuremberg racial laws. It's what the law says. What can you do? That's what you're supposed to do. No one say, what can you do? That's what you're supposed to do. Glasses, staring up, mask on the face, preferred pronoun, rainbow flag, wear a mask, stay home. Those types, right? In 1930s Germany would have went, 1940s Germany would have went. That's what the law says. Uh, the normies on the other side, and who have this, who have the internal sentient aspects, would have been deep down side gone. Oh, yeah, it shouldn't happen. I'm getting my mouth shut. Okay. No, I'm not saying anything. All right. So, and then that builds into anger. So the mother might start saying, you know, everyone on this, you know, that 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 Goldberg family were taken off to a camp in Poland and no one on the street did anything to help them and the father would go what the fuck do you expect me to do it's a fucking SX with guns and everything what do you expect and that's the psychic volcano deep down inside you know uh, the father who was disgusted by what happened to Goldbergs instead of just running out and saying to those Germans, "Fuck you! Don't I leave this. Put a ring around the house." They 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 know that deep down inside they took part in something evil by not helping the Goldbergs at some level. They know they but but they'll justify it, and also the government will give them wars. Well, I can't really. I know what was done to the Goldbergs was terrible, but my brothers in Russia fighting the Ru the, the, the Red Army, my um, my my other brothers in North Africa, and my uncle is in the R is is in the Luftwaffe fighting the RAF. I've got other things on my mind. There's a food shortage, and that's what the government would give them, so you wouldn't say you wouldn't actually do anything for the Goldbergs, the distractions, right? So when there's something else going on, then they make their move, right? Now, so the same thing happened with the. The, the, the propaganda routine this weekend. Can you tell him off that fucking asthma medication? I woke up this morning, oh, fuck, you know, that that, I'll never, that 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 stuff was great, but my God, it was not, it was like fucking being on morphine 24 hours, but I'm fucking, fucking firing now. Uh, 
So, yeah, so that's what happened this weekend with that, those fucking cunts in the media and, and, and the government doing all this stuff saying it's, it's the reason why is, is the unneedle craft that are the ones spreading the, the, the COVID. The ones who haven't taken the jab, they're spreading the COVID. Trust me, I'm your government man. And then the media backing it up by saying, yeah, it's true, it's fucking true, it's true, it's true. It didn't fly. It didn't fly. It's fucking, f and that's just, we have a sign now. This is something really positive. Forget government policy. Look for the psychic volcanoes. And the, and the majority of the people on the comments who are offering sincere comments, not NPCs, you know, preferred pronoun, rainbow flag. Stay home, save lives. Not them ones. I'm talking about the average person that has a sentient internal dialogue. They were all going, no, this is bullshit. This, it's, this is not true. This can't be the case. And it was quite remarkable and refreshing to see this. Now, and to see this. And uh, there, 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 there was a truth that was revealed then. Just like when the, the loser cook is in the relationship with the, with the bitch and the bitch is still going on about the previous fucker who fucking didn't want anything to do with her, a, a truth is revealed there. That's where her emotions are. The truth is the normies are deep down inside have an affinity to w w us at some level that they're suppressing. And another example, now let's, let's break this into other things. You're getting attacked online. Well, Let's break this into two things, into a few things, right? Firstly, uh, deep down inside, they know they have been made suckers of, okay? You, no matter how many times they're told that the next jab, the next jab, the next jab, or the first, they were told the first, the likes of Puco Squeal here in Ireland told them that there was a 87% uh, the success rate with the first needle craft complete failure that the booster would then take care of that no, so that the the update with the complete failure then the first then the booster would take care of those problems complete failure the icu wards are full of people who've taken the needle craft full of them now at the, at, 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 and they're angry at that they're angry at that because they know they've been made they've made they've met they've been made a fool of by the government, but rather than admit that they were they succumbed to terror, coercion, and fear, and just being duped like a like a like a used car sales <coughs> like a used car salesman duped them, right? They'll say fucking or oh, the fucking others did us. They'll attack us, right? Now the more pathological will say things like, "I hope they all die," and this is a big problem for them because. 99% of us are not dying. We're as healthy as ever. And we were supposed to be all dead by now if we didn't take the transubstantiation of the needle craft. And they were all supposed to be alive, going around the world, no restrictions, uh, freedom of life, and no problems. Uh, the, the Rona gone, and they're just as much in restrictions as ever. And that would only be true. It, it, the only proof that the that the unjabbed are the cause of all the problems, that the residual problems, would be if we were all dying. None of us are dying. On the other hand, who is dying? Hundreds of hundreds of athletes are dying. And we're told by the World Economic Forum expert in sports science, I might add, preferred pronoun, Rainbow flag, stay home, wear a mask. Uh, they're they're told they're told that it's because in the lockdown period, uh, they they were not training hard enough, and when they went back into competition level, it was too strenuous for them and it killed them. Now I've got I've got a bridge in Brooklyn that I would sell you, but I don't think there's anyone as thick enough as you to even buy it. If you buy that one, okay, now. People have pointed out, well, it's not just sports athletes. It's people immediately after taking the needle craft are dropping dead or getting heart attacks or strokes. What are they now saying? It was stress caused by the lockdown. The lockdown was nearly two, two fucking years ago. What are you on about? Nearly two years ago. And the new one I started to notice now is they're attacking people who are working at home. 
So you were told to do the right thing and work at home. And now you're being told working at home people are selfish. They're, 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 not, they're not helping society. That's because a lot of the ones who are working at home, when the boss is not watching, what are they doing? Whose videos are they watching? Hallelujah. Ha! Come to me. Come to me, my work at home friends. Come to John Waters. Come to Dave. Come come to us all we're waiting for you the boss can't see your computer screen when you're watching my videos and do, and etc 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 that's why they've suddenly turned on the work at home bunch because the work at home bunch were watching me during their coffee break and that was something they're not factored into other things so you have them say like the like like so like, like the father who said what can i fucking do about the goldbergs what can i fucking do i couldn't help them back in germany the, the one the same normie today doing that is gone i had to take it i was told that I, I couldn't take the kids to disneyland i was worried about my job i was worried you see they're in the same position you see they're in the same position they know they've been duped they know that they're taking part in a great injustice listen to me oh normie friend okay I don't care how much you love the Late Late Toy Show, although you're probably a, a pedo, a latent pedo if you do love it that much. I don't, or a Peter Pan syndrome at the least. I don't care how much you trust the evening news, CNN, BBC. I don't think how much you laughed at Jimmy Carr's comment about un, un, un needlecraft people should slap themselves in the face. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. You know you fucking know you fucking know deep down inside that there is something profoundly fucking wrong with this whole covid fucking narrative and if you don't believe it then you are dead inside npc fucking moron because there's it, it, the the tickest fucking dickhead can figure out at this point now that they're being fucked around it by governments and mass media. Don't fucking lie to me anymore and don't fucking lie to yourselves. That's why you don't like us. It's because there was no lie in us when we came to this stuff. The tribe had no lie. We didn't lie to ourselves and saying, I'm afraid, I gotta, you know, for fuck's sake, I know people who, are, who I thought were fucking awake and wise, were w washing their fucking groceries being delivered from, from the super, from Tesco's, because they were terrified it was going to carry the Rona and kill their whole family. You know, f I, wasn't that a fucking psychiatric illness when Howard Hughes was doing it, and yet the whole of society is now doing it? So what was considered a mental illness when Howard Hughes was doing it is now considered the way you live and that's how sick society has come like i don't know who it was it was you know whoever said that gurjeff or whoever it was who said it's a uh, krishnamurti it's it's no measure of sanity being considered normal in an insane society knowing that fucking all okay so let me tell you normie friends who deep down inside you fucking know that your prime ministers presidents health experts and mass media are fucking lying to you admit it and, 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 and be free, admit it and be free, okay? So instead of blaming people like me have done you no fucking harm, just because I refused to be a lab rat, and I wasn't suckered into being a lab rat, I'm not the problem. The ones who are lying to you in government, they're the fucking problem, okay? They're your problem. I'm here to help you. They're the ones attacking you because this is World War fucking 4. And World War 4 fucking 4 is the fucking governments declaring war upon their own people in the form of big pharma sales reps instead of calling themselves prime ministers or presidents or bureaucrats or health experts. They're big pharma salesmen, sales, sales reps declaring war upon the, the population on behalf of the globalists. It's that fucking simple. They hate your fucking guts. Now that's what you have to fucking deal with, okay? You fucking wake up, okay? And stop blaming me. And and you know what? And those of you who had didn't did wake up this weekend, because it was very apparent to me, the reaction of the governments did not get what they wanted. It was very apparent. Now there was lot. Some had tummed up the, or put a heart, hearted up the tweet, or t the tweets on this, but they never commented. So you show the level of cowardice, the level of sp 
spineless fucking coward men in this society. All societies now in the West that are out there. They're not working. The thing is falling apart, folks. We're winning. We're actually fucking won. It's only the means of their exit. Yes, they're getting harder. They're getting talking about locking us up and this stuff like that. It's not going to fly because we have the hindsight and the benefit of history. We're not going to be the fucking... Listen, normies, here's your chance to fucking redeem yourself, even though you were fucking sucked in by the vaccine. Here's your chance not to say... Shit, I wish they never took the Goldbergs from down the road. Thank you very fucking much. Sanguine noses. I love you fucking cunts, every last one of you. Bye-bye.